This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Gamefly. That's right, we got another sponsor. Gamefly has over 8,000 new releases of classes available for pretty much every single console available. This is basically the best deal if you're a gamer on a budget. For a, a low monthly fee, they will send you a game basically to rent, and then when you're done playing it, you send it back and they'll send you another one, whatever's on your list. And there's never any late fees as long as you're obviously paying for the service. So it works out pretty great. You can also get Blu-rays and DVDs on there as well. So I would highly recommend it if you play one game at a time. And I think they also have other types of deals where you can get more than one at a time. So it's pretty sweet. And if you go to GameflyOffer.com forward slash be then BTI, you will get a free 30 day trial. So it's pretty sweet. You get to try it for free. So once again, it's a GameflyOffer.com forward slash be then BTI. And now on with the show. Hey, what's up, people? It's your boy, Blue, here for the Before the Cast. Before the Cast. Here rolling with Stitch. What up, what up, people? Stitch and a new whip. New whip. The polar bear, I like to call it. Yeah, fucking panda, panda, panda. <laughs> no, uh, Crota's got the panda, I got the polar. Mm. What, so what kind of car are we rolling in, man? Uh, we're rolling a 2017 Jeep Wrangler Willys Edition. Um, like your, like Big Willy? <laughs> yeah, Big Willy style. <laughs> um picked it up on Saturday it was custom built nice. and everything finally got in it came in a week early so uh, cruising that thing thing still smells brand new sure does it's, it's got that it's nice it's got that toxic smell yeah I still want to sleep in it Vegas like yeah <laughs> I mean Lilo like, you're not sleeping in it I was like tonight I'm not but I will sleep in yeah. this thing <laughs> I'm gonna sleep in this guy yeah. thing. next argument I, I get I'm looking forward to sleeping in the thing yeah I'm like where's my food yeah. I had enough <laughs> When yes, you, next time you're fucking sleeping on the couch, you're like, fuck it, I'm going to the car. Might as well. I got it. It's, uh, might as well. I went to, uh, of course, obviously, the first day you get it, all you want to do is just drive around, do shit in it. Mm -hmm. So I went to a drive through movie theater in San Jose. Fucking it's, nice. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of weird. Kind of ghetto-ish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, fucking, I think, I haven't been to a movie theater that isn't ghetto-ish, but, yeah, yeah that's... So like it's funny because the sweetness, uh, she wanted to go to see a movie at that same theater. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I ain't going no fucking driving. Like, <laughs> you pay all this money and like you're using your own speakers to like listen to the sound. Like, isn't that great? Like, I rather go to the movie theater, sit down, and enjoy myself. Yeah, the food was was real bad. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, because you got to walk to the uh, to the little concession. The concession yeah, it's got fucking two day old hot dogs and shit. Yes, <laughs> bread was like Still, crunchy nachos. as fuck. Mm. It was it was not pleasant. And then. I guess they have like a flea market there. Yeah, they have a flea market on the weekends. So, Swap me. Yeah, so we get there and we went to go watch uh, Jack Reacher 2. So I'm pulling in and everything. It's literally the day I got it's got less than like 40 miles on it. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to drive through the little parking lot because I drove down to San Jose. And I'm trying to find a spot to park because obviously it's a bigger vehicle than the one I had. So I don't want to be in the front blocking mm -hmm. people. So uh, I'm kind of creeping slow. I turn my like parking lights on so I'm not blinding people. And uh, all I hear is, and I was like, what the fuck, fuck was that? that? And I was like, that wasn't glass, or because it was like, especially in something like this, mm -hmm. like glass would just be like, or whatever. Yeah. And so I'm like, what the fuck was that? And Megan, uh, Lila was like, oh my God, what happened? So I, I opened up the, the door to see what I, I hit or what the fuck happened. Mm -hmm. And someone had placed like a big fucking pile of like ceramic tiles that I completely just like obliterated. Damn. By, by, rolling over that's fucking funny dude and i was like oh my god i was like it's not, and luckily like the tires on this are pretty pretty thick, thick so it didn't yeah. fucking do any damage but like dude that thing would have just like blasted a regular vehicle if it yeah we're like we're like about 50 feet off the ground right now <laughs> it's so weird because i i have my car is low to the ground and yeah. so it's weird to be in in a higher vehicle it, it really is it's it's different and i there's pros and cons about it because, like, mm -hmm. I do like being lower to the ground normally, especially being the short person. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's weird being up this high. It's like because I can actually look into other people's vehicles. <laughs> not see like I'm a creep or anything. Like, hey, get off your fucking phone. Yeah, I can just look over to my left and be like, oh wow, that instrument, that dash instrument looks pretty good. I can see what radio station yeah. it is. Like I can <laughs> see. <laughs> Got jack this person's car. Yeah. As you can tell, like we're pretty far away, so the camera is kind of farther away, so you can actually see the cars behind us, like. <laughs> yeah it's kind of crazy it's a completely uh different experience and yeah, everything i want to cool. uh i want to sort of do the uh whole 
redneck white guy thing and go mutton. <laughs> go <flat dope. laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, put it I don't in. think they have that out here. You might have to go back home or some shit. But <laughs> yeah, or or at least go way up up north. Yeah, or something out in the country and find like a little off road area. I don't even know a place out here where you can drive on the beach. I don't think you can even do that out here. I'd have to look it up. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a place where you can go through the mud and fucking have yeah. some fun. But it's not like you can go to, like, Santa Cruz. Yeah. Or shit. Maybe, like, Tahoe area, maybe be able to. Yeah, and, uh, it'll be fun because then I can put in, like, four-wheel drive and, like, yeah. drive in snow and stuff. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Which yeah. It'll be fun to just sort of do just to say I did. So it well, fucking, cool. it's only three hours to Tahoe, maybe four, so. Yeah. Do you, do you know how to snowboard or ski or anything? I've snowboarded twice in my life mm. it was it was cool to say i did the first time i did it in new jersey when i was like maybe like 19 20 years old or into the in new snow. jersey it snows yeah no they, place in new jersey they, it was um, a place called like i think it was called mount vernon and uh mm. had some pretty decent sized hills it wasn't anything like like out here yeah um and it was pretty nice i was dating a girl who snowboarded up on the regular so i did it with her she sort of taught me how to do it and it was pretty cool nice then the second time i went uh we went to canada and canada yeah it was like a sort of a winter break trip do you want to hear something crazy so if you have a dui you can't go to fucking canada really? if you live in the united states you they you get fucking turned around That's... you have to get like special permission to go into canada because they look at a dui as like a, a fucking uh, not a misdemeanor like but a, a type yeah thing? like oh. it's like you fucking murder somebody <laughs> basically God damn. but there some there you have to like get like a special approval to come into the country with a dui and it takes like nine months to a year for that shit to happen <laughs> so so if you're going to canada and you have a dui you better look that shit up <laughs> oh wow better try to get that shit out of the way because you can't fucking go to canada i mean i'm not sure about flying in but I think once you get there, you know how they, you have to go to customs and stuff? Yeah. They might fucking turn, around, turn you around and send you back home. Yeah. And it doesn't even matter how long you had the DUI. Like, it could be 10 years, 20 years. You, fuck, it's, it's, that shit sucks. I was a little bit nervous because when we did the trip, mm -hmm. I didn't have a passport. Oh, we, yeah. We took a bus. Oh. So I was like, I, and I, I mean, this was, not to say it was before internet age, mm -hmm. but uh, I wasn't fully sure and I wasn't getting like definitive answers on like, do I need a passport or mm -hmm. not? No, and uh, it was they took one of those big like sort of tour kind of buses mm -hmm. and uh, i had actually was asleep when we crossed the border so i don't know actually what happened but oh yeah they let me in mm -hmm. it was good we partied and uh the mountain in canada was fucking insane i thought i was gonna die on that thing <laughs> that's funny yeah because you took like an actual lift and you couldn't even see where the lift like dumped you off at you were just on that lift where it felt like 15 20 minutes I gotta get new. I gotta new, get new gear this year because, uh, like two or three years ago, my uh, because I had step in bindings where you just fucking step yeah. into them, they snap into place, and you just fucking go. Mm -hmm. Well, like the last time I was snowboarding, my fucking boot finally ripped. Uh, Man, I had those boots for like a good maybe fucking fifteen years, and then I have any issues. And yeah, it's that day I was coming down a mountain, my fucking boot came undone, and I just fucking went rolling. Oh, <laughs> shit. I tried fixing it with glue and stuff like that, but there's no way. So how did you get down the mountain if you if the binding snapped off? The I board? fucking you rolled that so shit like a ski, <laughs> <laughs> like a sled. Oh, yeah, I rolled yeah. like a sled all the way fucking down. I was at the top of the hill too. Oh, where, I think I was at uh, Sierra Nevada or Sierra um, Sierra Tahoe up in Tahoe. Okay. Yeah, it, I would. I went up there with um, was it Mashish and somebody else. But uh, yeah, so I gotta get new boots and bindings and I'm good to go again. I might buy new clothing too, since I kinda got money. <laughs> I might, uh, I, I had to think about if I would do it again, cause uh, I definitely thought I was gonna die on that mountain. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people don't know, I mean, they require a lot of good knee strength, cause you're not standing up, you're kind of like, Yeah, you're fucking like bouncing bent. around. Yeah. So, since you saw Jack Reacher this weekend, what did you think, cause I saw it too. <sighs> I mean, I just went to go see Tom Cruise punching people in the face. <laughs> so I wasn't really all punching about the, the plot. I was like, I want to see Tom Cruise doing Tom Cruise type yeah. shit. So I was happy with that. The plot was kind of, eh. Yeah, it was like... The girl what? was annoying as fuck. The, the daughter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was hella annoying. But she's from, um... She was in uh, The Return of, um... What's the Heroes? Oh, okay. The she was, yeah, the, the, when they brought it back, Reborn, mm -hmm. Heroes Reborn, she played like the daughter of uh, Claire Ban Bankett or whatever. Okay. She's one of the, oh, yeah, she, that, yeah, she, she was horrible. Oh, man. 
Japan. I'm gonna punch her in the face. And then a lot of stuff you saw coming, like when she learned one move. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody had a gun on her head. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is gonna come into play at the end of the movie. Yeah. Watch, I know it. I see it coming. Foreshadowing. Then well, bam. But the fight scenes and shit were cool. Oh yeah, he yeah. fucking people up. Yeah, he was. He was fucking people up, and he was being smart about it. He didn't smash no Robin though. No. Chabowski. <laughs> You're a fucking modern, oh, not modern family, but uh, How I Met Your Parents fan. Yeah. How I Met Your Mother, right? Yeah, How I yeah. Met Your Mother, yeah. She's in there, Robin Chabowski. What's your, what is her name in the, in the Avengers? She's in Avengers too. I can't it's think like, of her name. Maria Hill or something? Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. But yeah. I'd have to double check and... Yeah, this guy done watching Westworld too. Oh, like, I didn't yeah. watch it this weekend. So you're all caught up then? Yeah, I'm all caught up now. Okay. Yeah, it's like every week. Yeah. They give you more answers. Mm -hmm. You got more questions. You're like, oh, okay. Well, I can. I, I think I know what's going. Um, okay. Well, he's yeah. fucking destroying the whole th goddamn town now. He what the hell? Is that going Professor on? Xavier thing where everything stops. Yeah. <laughs> everything stops. Is yeah. The guy still fucking pouring wine. Or is it still going? Yeah. I was like, god damn. Yeah, dude. It's just when you think you know what's going on, you just don't know. Yeah, that's pretty damn hilarious. And that one dude friend is like being a fucking dick. He's like, oh, if you're not gonna fuck her, I'll fuck her. The, the oh guy. yeah, yeah. That that it's gonna be some interesting stuff. What plays out between those two? Yeah. And uh, I mean, we'll, we'll probably get into more details. I won't go to my full thoughts. But, yeah, um, same for the cast. They do reveal a little bit more about what seems like these. Uh, they called the host. I was gonna call them drones, but the host seemed to mm -hmm. learn a little bit more each day that they yeah, she's like get reborn. She's like, hey, I fucking I remember being shot. Yeah, I need you to cut this open yeah. right here. I was like, oh shit, and especially when she's putting the papers underneath the mm -hmm. on the, the floor. floor. Yeah, she like found more shit. That was fucking crazy. Yeah. And then she like knew the guy was coming. Mm -hmm. She fucking sat there with that's had a gun on him. Like, okay, yeah. I know what you're here for. Yeah. Uh, of course, on the cast, we're gonna talk a good bit of Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh man. I hope fucking. I gotta bring the book home from work. I fucking forgot about that. But, uh, yeah, some of us gonna be taking shots. Yep. I, so we I, had we had a, a inside bet of uh, whoever gets wrong yeah. on who would die. You have to take a shot on the next yeah. podcast. But I mean, it was kind of obvious. Who did you guess? Um, I had went for uh, Eugene. Okay. I had Eugene. Oh, so you had me and you had Eugene. No, right? you you had Glenn. I had Glenn. Well, yeah. In terms of who got, who did uh, Old Ninja have? Uh, Old Ninja did it, Abraham. He did Abraham. Yeah. Oh no, you had Eugene. Okay, yeah, yeah. My bad. Yeah. I got Abraham, Eugene mixed up. So, and then who did Prodigy and Chronos have? Prodigy said that nobody. They're not going to show until oh, another, yeah. a, another episode. That fool should take two shots for being the wrongest. Yeah, right. The wrongest. <laughs> and then, um, and then the Chronos said that it was going to be uh, the Latin chick. Can't remember her name. Oh, Rosita. Rosita? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be her. So, yeah, three of us are doing shots. Yeah. Shot, 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 <laughs> shot, 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 Oh, man, but this is a good-ass episode. Yeah, it was. And, like, a lot of people, and I don't have an issue with it, because I know what I'm here to watch. Yeah. I'm here to watch some zombies and some gory-type shit. Some people are like, that's too much. Like, you know what you signed up for. Yeah, this you wasn't fucking a, new. This wasn't a first episode, and they've been but progressively I, getting that way. Yeah, but what's, what's crazy is, like, I didn't want, uh, you know what? Um, fuck, it's before the cast. Yeah, okay. So I didn't want Glenn to die, and I, I, I thought I would be mad that he did die. But I was actually okay with it. <laughs> like I was like, okay, he went out with fucking style. Like he didn't go out like no fucking bitch. Oh man. I, I well, out of the two though, Abraham went out like a boss. Yeah, he went out like a fucking yeah. boss. But Glenn didn't go out like. Glenn didn't go out like no punk. Yeah, he wasn't I mean, like crying and shit. God damn, because that's almost exactly how it looks in the. Oh books. yeah, there was a thing on on online that had like a um, a comparison of yeah. the sh of a screenshots from the from the TV show and the comics. And it was like fucking damn spot on. Yeah. Which is really really cool because uh, this whole storyline that they're going down with mm -hmm. um, Negan is really 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 good yeah and uh so far how they started out is, is damn near perfect yeah it's fucking crazy it's i mean it sets the tone it absolutely sets the tone the whole um he didn't make i wish i could just double check but I, that whole thing with carl that didn't happen How about him trying to cut off his hand i yeah i'm about 90 percent sure that did not yeah. happen 
Um, but I love how they put that in there. Hell yeah. Because like, I was like, whoa. I yeah. was like, where are we going with this? Because I sort of said before, and some people know that Rick doesn't have his hand in Yeah, there. he loses his hand. So I, it, when I'm watching it, and I sort of knew kind of what was coming, at, um, not who specifically was getting it uh, besides uh, Glenn, but I was like, are they going to cut Carl's hand off? I was like, Carl just lost a fucking eye. Yeah, he lost a, f- a fucking God. Yeah, and I was like, fuck. I was like, are they really going to do it? Throw, give us all of this in one episode? Mm-hmm. So I was, I was on the edge of my seat on that. The one scene where, like, this is a few seasons back where Rick cuts his hand when he's killing fucking zombies and stuff like that. Yeah. I thought that was going to be when he loses his hand. But True, I forgot about that part. I know if you read the comics that um, he loses, the governor is the one that cuts off his hand right. in the comics, but that was fucking like five seasons ago, four yeah. or five seasons ago. So it's, been a while since the governor's been around yeah but i'm looking forward to next week because we get to see the fucking kingdom and king joffrey not joffrey oh, it's king something oh, uh, uh, we get to see a fucking tiger god damn it i can't think of the guy's name Arr! i want to say nathaniel he's got the something. dragon yeah it's not it and but yeah he's got the tiger and everything um yeah. i can't think of that dude's name but yeah that, that should be interesting to see how that whole plays out i think we're gonna be on this uh i still got a while yeah okay i think we're gonna be on this uh, no, not Governor, but Negan mm-hmm. thing for s- two seasons at least. Yeah, hopefully. Because yeah, this isn't like a quick wrap up, like oh, a little in- incursion that yeah. they like when they ran into the cannibals and there they were uh, oh, the you terminus? people at Terminus. Yeah, people at Terminus. Terminus and, then, and the wolves too didn't last that long. Yeah, there was like a few episodes of those guys. Yeah, that that was just like a boop boop kind yeah. of thing, and they were quick and done with and, and Dude, moved on. That guy from term uh, from the wolf that. Um, Morgan had locked up in the basement or whatever. He's in Gotham. Oh, really? Yeah, he plays a fucking Mad Hatter, and he does a really good fucking job. Okay. I think I, I started... No, I didn't see Gotham. No, I didn't see Gotham. I was I watched about half of Supergirl. I was liking it and everything. I was just full off eating some Chinese food. Dude, Supergirl had so many goddamn Easter eggs and fucking okay. character development. Like, it was a really good episode, in my opinion. Nice. Because we got to see... Some uh, some new characters coming in, and they're, I, I feel like they're really hinting at having an infinite crisis between all the CW shows. Okay. And we'll talk about that on the podcast. So if you're watching now, watch a podcast. That's we gonna be somewhere cover down the a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. And I'll be working while I'm podcasting because I got fucking shit to do. <laughs> Multitasking. I'm actually awake this time. I'm not like looking dead. The world. Looking dead and fucking starving, hungry. I might stop. Yeah. Grab me uh, some food real quick. I might be down for that too. Yeah. All right, people. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Rolling on that 15 minute mark. Um, if you like what you saw, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, make sure to leave comments down below if you want to ask us a question. We'll definitely answer it here on the on the podcast or the webcast. I guess it's really really called. Yeah. Before. Um. Make sure to check out the videos and stuff down below. And until next time, peace out, bitches!